Hello and good evening, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I want to talk about how to document uh, your Power BI models with DAX Studio. Perhaps you already seen the video where I show you how to document your Power Pivot models in Excel uh, and for that you had to download a Power Pivot utility add-in uh, that allowed you to do that. And uh, I actually got a, a question, more a comment from Norberto that uh, he was telling me that it would be great to have uh, this tool also in Power BI, in Power BI Desktop. And uh, I agree with him actually, it's so neat function that it would be great to be able to document the Power BI files too. So I was uh, doing a little bit of digging on the web and I finally find the method to do that. And is actually within the Power Pivot uh, utility adding is this DAX Studio that you can see here. You can do a lot of things with DAX Studio, but today I will cover only the documentation of the Power Pivot model. And then uh, in future videos, we will go through uh, how awesome that tool is for other reasons. So let's uh, jump at our task. Um, so as I said before, you can start DAX Studio from here or you can install it as an add-in if you don't want to have the Power Pivot Utilities uh, add-in or you can have it as a standalone. So either way works. To get DAX Studio, uh, you go to the site and then you click on this big button and then you download it and install it. So it is as simple as that actually. So now that we are in Excel, uh, we could open it from here, but if you don't want to use it from there, again, you can download it as a standalone version. And what happens here is that uh, it actually recognizes if you have any file open that has either a Power Pivot model or a Power BI Designer model. And in this case, I have our Rio dashboard open. So, it detected that and say, okay, would you like to connect to that? So we say yes. You can change uh, the model you connect to by clicking here if you want to. Um, now what happens when you connect is that you get the tables available in your model here. Okay, so if we go to our Rio dashboard, we have the athletes, team, geo, and overall medals, and you have that available here. These tables, I am guessing that they are like internal tables that Power BI is using, and that's why we cannot see it in Power BI, but we can see them here. But we don't have to worry about those. Um, so again, this uh, DAX Studio it is perfect for learning DAX and I'm going to use it in future videos when we go through the DAX uh, functions in our DAX Friday series. But I'm not going to go through it now. Today what we're going to focus on is only on documenting the Power BI model. So to do that it's very very simple. You go here to DMV and we search if we want to document measures uh, we will search here, double click, and then run. And we get a list of all the measures. Here they are. So this is really nice. Now you wonder, okay, can I export this? Of course, you can always export to Excel. But if you want to export to Excel, you need to open DAX Studio in Excel. I don't know what that is, but we don't get the options here. So we close these and we do everything again. Open a new book, open DAX Studio within Excel. Now we open Power BI Designer, we get the tables, we scroll to our measures, Double click, run, output, you see, then you get the Excel option. So it wants to have that connection beforehand, otherwise you don't get the Excel option, the output. 
Um, you have two um, things you can do. You can link to the model or you can have a static copy. So we are going to link in sheet one. That's perfect. We have nothing else there. And then we click on run again. Query completed, send to Excel. So if we go to Excel, here we have our measures. So quite neat. Huh? You can do other things. You can uh, document tables. Let's remove the old one. Run. And now it's going to send it to Excel again. So, and here we have a list of tables. So play with these, um, then uh, test all these functions. I don't know what all of them do. So just check it out and, and see what it does and what other uh, documentation you can do from your Power BI model. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like this video, please let me know by liking it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, just uh, let me know in the comment box and uh, in any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe. I, I publish videos every week uh, about uh, Power BI. So have a great evening. Bye.